Since the beginning of COVID-19, restaurants around the country have struggled to stay afloat. And two Miami restaurant owners have had to get creative this fall. Chef Neven Patel had to close down his award-winning debut restaurant, Ghee Indian Kitchen. So that day, I basically had to make a phone call to 74 people and let them know that we're not opening and I don't know when we're going to open, right? And Neven isn't alone. Another Miami restaurateur had to make a similar decision and close down his all-day breakfast spot, Laid Fresh. I mean, it's heartbreaking. It, it's, it's like a little baby. It, it's, uh, it really is, uh, it takes, takes a little bit of getting used to um, and it takes a little bit of getting over. Um, we had a couple of glasses of wine and a few tears about it. For Neven, closing down Guy meant redirecting his efforts to a new project, Mame at Thesis Hotel in Coral Gables. Yeah, so definitely we opened up with a very small staff. We just didn't know what to expect. Uh, but, you know, with maybe another lockdown or people comfortable eating out. And also we had very, very limited seating. We had less than 50 seats. As you can see, the tables at the outdoor dining area at Mame are spaced six feet apart and have been ever since the restaurant opened. Despite the challenges that came with opening in the middle of a pandemic, Chef Neven said that maintaining workplace morale has become a focal point of his operation. You know, we've got, we like got beat down and now it's just like trying to keep them motivated and happy about like coming to work and like bringing that life back to it. Neven's famous pre-shift pep talks are what push his employees through this hard time. He always makes a point to say like keep up the good work, you know, like he always looks at the reviews. He's like, you guys are getting amazing reviews, like you guys are um, like the reason like we're so successful, like the, you know, like good service is so important for a restaurant and he really like appreciates everyone's hard work and acknowledges that, which is something that like is really important for a, like a boss to do. While Neven focuses his energy on a new endeavor, Haig is finding new ways to keep his Winwood breakfast joint alive in the form of a ghost kitchen concept. Especially with the restaurant industry, you've got to be adaptive and you've got to be able to pivot quite quickly and see where the trends are and see what's happening. Rather than having large overheads with rent, uh, large overheads with, with so many other expenses that happen when people have to be able to walk into a business. The, this business concept is only delivery. Haig also mentioned some of the ways he has changed the structure of his current restaurant, Q, to better accommodate COVID-19 safety precautions. We don't pour people's wine and water for them because it's just those extra trips to the table that aren't necessary to be so close to everybody else. We could maybe take chances, squeeze people in, we'd stay open a little bit later, but it's not worth it. On the bright side, Haig was able to retain about 80% of his staff at Q and like Neven, emphasized the importance of maintaining morale in the workplace. We, we haven't made any money, we've lost money, but I think you've got, you can't look at now and you can't panic and you can't say let's just get rid of everyone because it's not fair. This is our time as employers uh, um, to invest back and to look after the people that have looked after you and, and have been of your sales and, and your core of your, of your concept and your business. Although the restaurant industry has faced great losses in the last eight months, Chef Neven and Stephen Haig look to the future with new perspectives and an inspiring sense of hope. Growth and success is going to really re rely on the community and also like the team I build to kind of help us push to more restaurants and cooler projects and things like that, I would say. So I think it's exciting to see what new concepts we're going to get, how restaurants and bars are going to adjust to the current sort of way of operating and give the best service and products they can. Reporting for UMTV, I'm Isabella Vaccaro.